Hey folks, it's Bobo the Vulture. And the Mysterious JG. And this is Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. Search under the tank. Metal Gear Sorry, Solid. Search, yes. search, under search under the tank. Search under the tank. You might find a Baja Beach Lupa down there. Because this game is set in the past. Also, um... Yeah, I probably should let you finish your intro before I started yelling at you to search out things. <laughs> to just start searching for Chalupas. <laughs> all right, all right. Chalupa <laughs> Quest 2, Solid Snake. Oh, this is a new area. I was wondering why it didn't appear to be... Uh... Oh, this probably means it's a new continuation point! We just started a video! Well, okay. <laughs> oh, well, let's keep going, keep going. All right, I'll keep going. Actually, do I want to do that, or do I want to come back here? I think this is a f Sorry. Pardon my French, but... That is a minefield if I've ever seen a minefield in the Metal Gear game. Well, we do have mine detector. We do have a mine detector. But there's more stuff in this one. Try keycard one. Hey! Hey! Woo! Hey! Woo! It's Ric Flair and his Green Beret! Woo! Oh, he's... He's going to the desert. He's going to the desert. He's, he's, he's going to explore the mystery of the desert. The mist yes. If you follow the Green Beret soldier, don't rush. Oh. Damn it! What are you doing? Oh, I tried... I, I turned the corner, so he... I, I know, you were afraid Like, there's a 99% chance that at some point during his pattern, he's going to run around I'm and not turn sure if... It might be him. set up so that he doesn't... So I need to wait for him here again. Yeah. No, that's gonna be him again, I mean... He's here again... I wouldn't worry too much about being spotted by him. I mean, I wouldn't follow, like, two inches behind him. Because as you'll see, this path was not available. No. Nah, I recall. Okay, I might have been completely wrong. It appeared that he routinely checks behind him. With cartoonish noises. Game I'm really looking forward to, which is Metal Gear uh, Solid 4, since I only actually got to play through that once. Uh, that that featured a whole sequence in in Europe. We were on like a, what seemed like kind of a regular normal street. It's just trying to sneak around behind dudes. This is really the most efficient way you could have gotten to this location, buddy. Look, he has a certain number of wink noises he has to make per trip. Or he doesn't get paid. Yeah, it's in his contract. You know what I also think I want to do right now? I wanted to get a ration, but that's not going to happen. Yeah, got a ration. What you need is a new continuation point. That way you can get killed, have full health again, it'll be great. So I was convinced that this was the mine uh, field challenge part of the game, but... Well, I didn't uh, think you could see around the, hit. like, yeah. turny corner. And now I'm back to the beginning. Get the mine detector equipped. I'm just saying. Throwing it out there is what might be a good idea. Or I might be completely off base. Oh, yeah, so this is the beginning section, you're right. Yeah, no, it's, it's, Never mind. it's looped around. Ah... Uh, so this is like the spooko meter from um, Grand Theft Auto 3. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna take a nap here on this ledge for a while. Wait, Snake, it's important to get enough rest. Find points during the mission where you can nap. Over. Oh yeah, I'll nap over. Let's have a nap over. Sure, I'll bring Holly. Sweet. I didn't know it was gonna be a boy-girl nap over. <laughs> <laughs> Fire! Fire! Yeah! <laughs> I was thinking more. You were butthead, I figured Master Miller was Venus! I was thinking more of the. um. the sort of bromancy chuckles that you got out of Metal Gear Solid. Oh, yeah. Occasionally. <laughs> now, one thing I'm, I'm seriously going to be curious about here. Um, we kind of danced around a bit of a mild spoiler for anybody who 
I don't know. I don't get it. I I was too far away from him when he left. Could be. Uh, Look at it this way, Bobo. You you probably have as many shots at this as you want. Yeah. No. I mean, there is no. I don't see like, where you're gonna get killed. So I'm gonna sit here and talk like, oh, I would have done this the first try, no problem, Bobo's got, because I'll never get a chance to blow it. <laughs> I mean, if you want to take a shot... No, 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 I'd, I'd much rather just sit here and be like, mock. Oh, I can easily do this, no problem. Oh, my I God. can easily do this. <laughs> By the way, uh... Oh, you know, <laughs> Yes. You really do need to fix your... You really do need to start wearing a corset, you know? <laughs> no, but we danced around the... Mild spoilers, but, um... This game, as far as I know, is the only game that features the guy who, in Metal Gear Canon, is Solid Snake's best friend. Hmm. Uh, he talks about him in later games. And I always thought it was kind of mean that there's never a point really where, um, despite hanging around together for many games, uh, he doesn't ever seem to actually kind of be like, you know, Otacon, um, you and I got pretty tight over the years. No, pretty much... It continues to be his best friend from this game. Kitty! Zachary so Dean is stretching. That is the high entertainment. I just gave away... Uh, what's going on at this moment? Gave away that we're not recording this in my place. Well, that was tense. I didn't know if you were going to get into the screen fast enough. And that is a... <laughs> Then there was a moment where I was like, is he too close to the... Yep, that was... That counts, alright, so... We'll, we'll try, no, try, stop, go up! Okay. Yeah, it's worth a try. I'm loop you into the... I'm in the I'll punch the air in frustration. So, Zachary Dean and then, what's the other one called? Like, Bumper. Bumper. Okay. Bumper is the other game. Was Bumper the one I was petting before? <laughs> uh, possibly. He kind of wasn't, he was He was hanging out up there, he wasn't responding, he was like lighter colored. Yeah. So let's talk is, about the cats of Bobo's house. That is house. Bumper, he's the larger type of cat. But he, yeah, I, was, I thought it was Zachary Dean because I was under the impression that Bumper would like freak out if he started touching him. He usually does. But, uh... He was feeling very relaxed. Well, and you... you yeah, something like that. That little, like, fake-out that he does on that, that last screen that you keep getting caught on, that had better be, like, the final boss of the trailing him scene. Yeah, because see, here, it doesn't count that. And you have to be able to crawl up there, otherwise you're going to lose it. I don't know if I actually have to be crawling for this, but I don't want to risk it at this point. Man, I really hope I can... I'm never going to get to work at this rate. I keep seeing a guy and then having to run back and start over. i got to get to my shift or I'm going to get chewed out. Oh, good. Oh, good. I can't do it. So I think if you just... Alright, so here, I have to stay up here until he walks the whole way down. Now just stay there, you should That's be fine. What I'm then get up and sprint down. Like, no. Alright, go down. Going in circles, you ass! Wait, this is... You're right! This is actually the beginning of... Wait, I saw him go this way! Oh, oh my god. I hate this guy a lot. <laughs> I really hate this guy. Yeah, he's a war criminal. He's an ex-NATO soldier who went around killing children. Oh, why did he do that? I bet he had nuclear weapons to do it, too. The remaining nuclear stockpile of all the NATO powers was used. 
by that guy to destroy the Zanzibar land. One nice thing about Metal Gear 3, you're not actually playing a solid snake. There's a lot of political stuff thrown at you where the side you're on might not be 100% number one correct right. But the villain, there's no question that he's fucking wrong. <laughs> he is not a good guy. Okay, so this is a relief, at least. I've determined now that you, yeah, you do don't not have to. need to be crawling around. Oh, we have, so we've established <laughs> yes, that, uh, We've established that we're, we're going to try... We're going to... Whatever. I'm trying to quote Santa Claus and the Ice Cream Bunny, but... Not just one or the other. You're trying to quote cool both of them. I mean, clearly he's heading off to the... He's going to head to the... Come all the way around back to this screen and then probably go right. Or maybe he's going to go left f or up from this next screen on further. Either way, I hate this guy. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a perfectly legitimate little, you know, 8-bit style video game challenge. Sure. It's just his path doesn't make a lot of sense. And it's then okay, it's... Buddy. You can calm down. I hope that once we... No, no! No, here's fine. Okay. I hope that once we uh, follow him all the way, that we can go back and forth between these two bases without having to go through this bullshit every time, because there's still doors that we weren't able to open in that first base. Yes. You know, stay up here. Right now, crawl over this way. And then he goes all the way south to return to the beginning of his path. Return the way. There, you can't step he over to, here. He had to Go duck to back one farther step to the left, probably. <sighs> you know, I was hoping this would be something. Uh, that, that, that we could find a quick continuation point over around here. And, uh... we, we, we did find a continuation point, it just wasn't so much a quick one. <laughs> I Well, I don't know for sure. I would think that getting into this jungle area is a continuation point, but maybe it isn't. I get, you know, one or two more shots and we'll find out next time, I think. Yeah. Meanwhile, I would have done this on the first try. I mean, I don't know what Boba's big problem is. <laughs> You could practice uh, on on this first screen, ducking over to the left without leaving the screen. I mean, that was as far as I could yeah. Because I've definitely because I because the first time I like like maybe that was the second time I came around here, but it's like oh crap, what if he looks back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I lost him because you know I went to the previous screen. Just get. The I should call Master Miller and say about this situation. So this guy is The clear. guy in the Green Beret is actually one of the most feared mercenaries in the world. I was going to say, the guy in the Green Beret is clearly on psychotropic drugs. I wouldn't bother following him anymore. We don't have that noise in this game, but still. Okay. I like to end all uh, Kodak conversations. Well, I think you almost got caught there. I had to kill Schneider for this information about you being the guy to lead me to where I need to go, alright? I love Schneider. You Schneider was Schneider. my buddy. I love Schneider more than you did. I have based my whole life on Schneider. <laughs> Says the guy in the green beret who now knows you're following him. So that's why you were the one who started talking to him. So it's, it's only fair. I thought you were saying that because he had a beret. <laughs> it's like... Well, Schneider never actually appeared in, uh... No, when we, when we used to play Metal Gear with G.I. Joe's, uh, Schneider was a character. We never, I don't think we ever got the scene where he died. At least not back at that time. So we would have a G.I. Joe wearing a beret who was supposed to be Schneider, and he was part of Snig's team. Those are the awesome old G.I. Joe's who were, like, tiny instead of being, like, Barbie dolls for boys. Yes! 
Oh my god, save state, except we can't do that. No. <laughs> we can't not save state. Was this careful? Yeah, he's really messing with you now. He's gonna run back really quickly at some point, isn't he? I thought he was gonna shake you there. Hmm. Progress? Now he runs back. I thought he was gonna- I don't care! Yeah, you need to- Oh god, I was like, you do not need to get killed by this guard here. <laughs> Music has gone, uh, very dramatic. Alright, there's a guy over here. Codec time? Is this a codec moment, Snake? Apparently so. Um, alright, so... This is Salt Snake, come in. Yeah, the thing's too busy to talk to you. Should have known. This is Salt Snake. It's a tap code. They were used to communicate in North Vietnamese POW camps. Or POW camps. I kind of think Morse code goes beyond that, but... Before that, they were used during the Korean War. Correct, Snake. Well done. Instructions on deciphering the code should be written in the software manual over and out. Oh, fuck you so much, Oh, Gamble. don't tell me we're gonna have to sit here and do Morse code. Yes. That's what's gonna happen now. <laughs> um... Hmm. <laughs> what's the decipher Morse code button? I don't know. There is a manual here, but it does not include specifically, like, manual instructions for Metal Gear. This could be bad, especially because I'm wondering now if we save and quit and go get some food and look it up on the interwebs and come back. Will you have to follow the Green Beret guy through the jungle again? <laughs> Let me take a look while you, uh... Sure. Call other people on the codec, although I'll need to read their lines, so... Well, I mean, I can read their lines if it comes to that. <laughs> if I had my laptop warmed up, I could uh, try and find a fact right now, but... Uh, isn't this a pip, folks? Oh, it's not going to be in here. What am I even looking at this for? Right. Well, I mean... Well, I can go, go ahead and save and the game. Data anyway. save. Tell me that this will get us in. It's a tap code. You can use that against Sniper Wolf. <laughs> you can tap code nasty things about her that will really make her feel bad when she figures out what they are. Tell her she has a mustache and fat ankles. <laughs> <laughs> the hell, Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, did I throw you off there with that one? Yeah. Was that, mean, a, little, was that a little weird for you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, but... Yeah, uh, this has gone on way longer than it needed to. <laughs> All right, yeah, um, we'll take but, a little... uh, Yeah, when we come back uh, next time, folks, uh, hopefully we won't have to go through the jungle again, but... Uh, we better run through the jungle. Well, no, because then he'll turn around and go... And then all that stuff will happen. Mm. Um, because he actually is voiced by Earthquake. He just goes... You know, a bunch <laughs> randomly. <laughs> he, 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 he's voiced by who? Earthquake. Oh, I thought you were going to say that. Like, he's voiced by an overlord. You, you notice he usually goes... <laughs> yeah, no. Either way, definitely he makes bizarre, incomprehensible noises. We know that for sure. But yes, when we come back next time, um, hopefully we'll know Korean-Vietnamese war POW tap codes. Um... But uh, until then, this is Bobo the Vulture. And the Mysterious JG. And uh, we thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.